really amazing. I mean, what accomplishments you've already had at such a young age. What inspired you to go from playing games like most kids to creating them? Um, well, I'd always enjoyed programming computers and uh, making websites, and someone suggested that I try doing it, and I thought it'd be a cool new thing to try. Um, and so I eventually made it. And how'd you go about doing it? Had you you just knew how to do it, or was it a complicated thing to try and try for the first time? Um, I had never done any mobile or game programming before, um, so there's definitely a lot of new stuff to learn. So what'd you do? Go to the library and figure it out? Is that what kids your age do? Mm -hmm. I checked out uh, books on the topic and then eventually found a software development kit that was really useful that you program in an easy language called Lua. So you pretty much taught yourself then how, how to create a game? Uh-huh, yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, listen, uh, with 7 million downloads, do you regret not charging anything for your game? Um, well, I didn't know I was going to get that many downloads because um, it was my first thing and I didn't know how well it would do, so I just wanted to make it free. So no regrets? Not really. That's very nice. That says a lot about you. Well, what's next for you? Um, we're doing a lot of cool new stuff for Bubble Ball in the works. Um, some more levels are going to come out soon and then something really cool after that. Any big company secrets you can share with me on the air today? Help us break some news? And they wouldn't be secrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very smart, Robert. Uh, so what, what would you tell other kids who want to follow in your footsteps? Um, I would say they should just try it because that's what I did. I just tried it because, uh, yeah, because you don't know what's going to happen.